farm here. If you've watched my old videos, you've seen that I've done a couple of uh, videos on the Evernew Ultralight Titanium Alcohol Stove. This is one of my first forays into titanium gear. I'm not one of the, uh, you know, people that swear by it. A little expensive for my taste, but I watch eBay, and every once in a while I get lucky and get something really cheap. So I've uh, used this Evernew Titanium using the Evernew Titanium crossbar. Fits on like so. I've even used this with three 16-penny nails. You've seen that video where I like to use nails for a real cheap pot holder because I always carry nails in my pack. Uh, I've even found a copy, a clone, of the Evernew Titanium. The problem with this one is there's no insulation on the inside of this thing, so it acts kind of funny. But uh, I've used this. Ever since then, I keep getting emails from people saying that I'm using this incorrectly. To be fair to this stove, to this burner rather, I should use the pot stand that it comes with. So again, I watched on eBay and I was able to find one kind of cheap. And I thought I'd do a little unboxing here for everybody to see. This is the Evernew Titanium Ultralight Titanium TIDX Stand. Supposedly I've been told that this is the stand that should be used with this. I got this for $35 zero shipping on eBay. What this is, is a, comes with instructions all in, oh here's the English side, Japanese, but it's a three piece kit, just like so, hope you can see that. What we have here is the what they call the upper stand, the lower stand, and the power plate. Supposedly this is for if you're running this in the cold like in the winter, you're not getting enough heat out of the Evernew. You use this and it supposedly builds up the heat. Not sure how that works, but I guess we'll find out. Uh, it looks like the way this goes together... is the Evernew burner goes in like that and this somehow or another am I doing this right? yeah it goes on like that there we go so the three pieces are like that you got the lower the upper and then your burner inside. It's holding it up off the ground. If you can see it there. And then the power plate. Let's see if I remember the instructions. Just yeah, it goes in like that. And the heat supposedly comes up and hits this. And amplifies the heat somehow. We'll find out. The other thing that they say with this is when you're lighting it, never try to hold your flame in here. They put a little lighting hole right here on the side that you can supposedly light from there. Now the other thing that this is used for is you can take it apart, take the burner out, put the power plate on the bottom. How do you do that? Oh, I see. There's slots here. Put the power plate in like so. So it's on the lower part. See the little window? Put this back on top. And now you can use um, solid fuel, like espit cubes or whatnot. And you could also just use wood, small pieces of wood, and put it in like so. And this supposedly becomes a wood burner. Now the one, th the one thing that I did read about this is they say when you're carrying this, put it in something. Wrap it in a cloth and put it inside something because by itself... 
it is kind of flimsy. You could flatten this, I guess, real easy. But it's all made out of titanium, so it should be very heat resistant. But as far as squashing resistance, it just isn't there. Okay, so again, this goes... That goes in like so. This goes on the top. I guess in the summer and stuff, you don't really need to do this, but if you want it, you can put it in like so. And then your pot comes on top of this. So this is the Evernew Stand DX for the alcohol stove with the power plate in two parts. When you're done with it, let's see if I can do this. Goes in together like that. Power plate. I'm not sure what you do with the power plate. Because I thought that, I guess that stacks in like that. Okay, so that's my quick unboxing of my new, ever new Titanium DX stand. I hope this will help the people that keep telling me that I need this to give it a good test. If I had a dollar for every person that told me to get this, I could have paid for it. Darn. So anyway, that's the new stand to go. Another piece of titanium wear for me to add to my collection and we'll see what happens so i thank you for watching i look forward to your input questions remarks helpful suggestions if you've used this rig and as always watch for my buddy max bye now